Thank you for joining me for another one of my videos. My name is Cliff, and I'm doing a series called 99 Problems, but my God ain't one. If you look in the playlist, it's 99 Problems or more. And this one I'm going to call number 40, Winning or Losing. Um, all these videos that I'm doing are in relation to the Lord Almighty. He says he's about to return, Jesus Christ. It's going to come and separate and place those with Satan, with Satan, in the lake of fire. And this is, this is a given. This is going to happen no matter what we say or do. We, we can't change this. We won't change this because of our ignorance. Um, Realistically, we can change this. We can, but will it happen? No way. Um, everybody is lost. Everybody is caught up in the things of of the world. Um, the Lord Jesus um, explains uh, about Jonah. Jonah, when he went into the belly of of the great fish he went into that belly of the great fish because he he would not listen and do what he was instructed to do like i'm trying to do myself um and give the message of the lord's return and for everybody to repent and come to the lord and savior okay let me give you a couple examples here there is no losing for God. God, uh, it doesn't matter. Uh, it's not that he doesn't want, he, it's not that he wants you to um, go into the lake of fire with Satan. It's just that you've had so many warnings throughout your life to know that he is the Christ and the Savior. You've been told time and time again and in the in the word of god the bible itself he describes all things about uh the the times and troubles that were to come when he was near his return for whatever reason you did not listen to maybe my words as you're listening to now and you want to turn away you listen to the enemy himself the enemy that rules this world, that gives you the things of this world, the things that you have to um, feel, that you feel you have to progress on, the things of your homes and your luxury, luxurious things, your houses, your cars, uh, the amount of money that you have, your cottages, whatever. You dwell and you worship these things that are given to you in the first place by the Almighty for in one way or the other. Uh, Satan can be also the one that gives you these things but if you have contracted with him for whatever reason, in whatever manner, um, whether it's by knowing the Christ, the Savior, or not. Um, if you don't know the uh, the Christ Savior you know Satan no matter what Satan knows you know him but uh, he you may not believe you know him but he's got you basically is what I'm trying to say okay let's go on to my examples here my first example comes from Genesis and it's in chapter 18 where the Lord is telling uh, Abraham that he's about to destroy he's about to destroy Sodom and Gomorrah for the wickedness there you know you're sodomizing and and your their lewdness in in the eyes of God and when the Lord is saying to Abraham that he's about to destroy these two cities Abraham speaks out and and questions, well, um, why would you do this 
if there's uh, a few good people living in these cities and the Lord really knew the answer already to these questions um, as he as Abraham asked these questions with his compassion um, the Lord asked him uh, if you can find these good people let me know basically and they count they started with a countdown from 50 good people can you find me 50 right down to 10 but anyways the Lord is willing to destroy everything everything and because of the corruption of men and not lose a thing are you understanding this he's willing to destroy all he did it basically with the flood there's another my other example Noah and the ark um, all man was corrupt and even some of the animals they they were there were corrupt animals as well the uh, demons evil spirits they live in animals and man so he was willing to conquer all and wipe everything out so everything except what went on the ark only eight people from the whole world only eight people were left because the Lord was angered did the Lord lose no he he always wins and gave a description of what would happen in in our present day this these things are manifold uh, manifesting quickly um, nearing the end of most of the Bible there's a gap between uh, this period and the return of Satan after he gets locked up in the lake of fire but uh, we're getting to the point where Satan is about to be cast into the lake of fire with the people that follow him the ones that are are about to be judged okay um, my my last example is again back to the part of Jonah in the book of Jonah Jonah was to tell the people his city and none of it that the Lord is coming to to wipe them out because they did not worship him he's a jealous God he did not worship him and he was ready to wipe them all out but when they got the message when they got the message the Lord turned his anger back and did not do anything to none of it so this is your answer right there as far as we're concerned we can do this and and set the time back of what these things are what is about to happen what the Lord said is going to happen in this book the times are near so winning and losing the Lord doesn't lose our our father will not lose there is no losing in him no matter how many go into the lake of fire we have to repent and come to the Lord Amen